Hi everyone, we are going to go over the uh, Favi stick today. It is basically an Android machine on a stick. So you can plug it in directly to your HDTV via the HDMI connection right here. On the other side, you will see the USB port. Right now I have the uh, Lenovo wireless keyboard and mouse hooked to it, which is the USB port. Now, the remote was built for Windows, but it actually works for Android as well. So let's go back to the stick again. To power it up, you'll need a micro USB port. My TV is too old, so there's no way, there's no USB port to plug it in, so I plug it directly to the output. Here's the uh, infrared remote receiver. Now, um, oh, and also included is the remote, which is pretty much useless. It will get you through the uh, basic setup, which is the network settings, the uh, time and date, the country you're from, but you'll definitely most likely need a keyboard to control it because the remote is not that great. Let's hook it up to the TV and see what you get. One other thing I really like about this is obviously it turns my dumb TV into a smart TV. I've always liked the Roku machine which turns on almost instantly and it will tell you the weather, uh, watch movies instantly. And for $50 for this machine, the 5V unit, you cannot really complain. I mean, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, is so much better than a Roku. It's basically like an Android phone. It turns on instantly and it will give you whatever you want. So here's the um, home screen that you'll turn on when you, you, you'll see when you turn on. I have no idea how to move apps or remove apps as, this, as of this moment because uh, my remote control, um, I'm using the, the Lenovo remote, remember. So um, there's not, I don't know what the 5 keyboard for another $30 provides, but at this moment, this is all I see on the screen. If you go to apps, you'll see all the apps that I've installed so far. Facebook, ES File Explorer. Let's go into ES File Explorer for a moment. This is a great file explorer that lets you view all the files anywhere in the unit as well as on the LAN network. Let's open a music file that's on the network. Here's uh, M83 playing. Here's The Walking Dead in MKV format. I'm going to use MX Player to open it. It takes a while, doesn't it? But I mean, for 50 bucks, I'm not complaining. This is a uh, 720p file that's playing right now. For some reason, I notice when I'm using a hardware audio coder, it does not play the soundtrack. So 
it must be the file that's that's been encoded or, or something. But you can see the 720p file streaming at full screen for at, for the TV, which is 1080p. This is pretty good. This is a, the only video moment. Uh, this is only video at the moment. I, I, I can check out the MKV with. Let's go back to the home screen. Clicking on a browser, we can go to, let's go to Amazon for instance. Let's use uh, Amazon to play some video already in my Prime account. Going into my watch list. Let's go full screen on it. Wow, I guess the connection is pretty slow or, or the machine is slow. I'm not sure which one it is. Whoops, looks like we just had a force close on us. Okay, let's try that again. Loading. Connecting. Executive Director of K9 Assistance, and I'm excited that you guys are here. We're in Every full screen mode now. K9 Assistance welcomes a new group of families to Georgia for training camp. One thing that I want to say again. You're going to hear this like three times this morning. Don't have a dog in your mind, okay? Please don't have a dog in your mind. Wait and let and meet the dog and sort of... Let's go look at some uh, news today. So you can feel how slow it is, but at the same time, it's actually not that bad. I mean, comparing the speed of it to my smart TV in the other room, this one is actually faster than a real smart TV. Let's go to another new site. Oh man, look.
looks like it's okay let's wait let's go type an address on gadget it's loading it's still not done loading so it looks like it's done loading Not bad, right? I mean, for $50, again, I'll say it, you can't complain. It's not as fast as a laptop, but then again, it's pretty fast for 1080p outputting to the TV, which is a lot faster than some phones that can do it. Right now, I'm in Philadelphia, and the weather is 50 degree Fahrenheit. Uh, there's some a bunch of other stuff that I haven't delved enough into the machine to know but uh, that will give you some of the basic about the machine so far and the experience I have with it so far. If you have any questions let me know.